Alright, hi. This is my robot Fred here. He, uh, he's a big part of my senior director portfolio. I wanted to actually have him in my portfolio inside that briefcase, but uh, so far he's cost me about $700. People advise that that's really not a good idea. So as much as I'd love to have him in person, uh, or in bot form, um, I've, uh, I'm just going to have to show you this video of him instead. As you can see, he's got all kinds of ridiculously complicated electronics on here. I could explain them, but very few people actually understand what goes on in here. So I'll leave out all the jargon. Um, you can see he's got, uh, you know, he's got six legs. He's, he takes the form of a basic hexapod, a six-legged um, walking creature. He's got two little antennae here. These antennae actually function. Um, they, uh, they're used for when he bumps into something, he can then back up and turn around. So, um, when I turn him on right here, his legs straighten out, and he begins to walk. Um, so I'll demonstrate that. Alright, now uh, my robot Fred here is uh, on the ground, ready to walk. I just have to uh, turn on his two on switches, we'll extend his legs, and begin walking. Um, it took me about two months to build this robot. Um, well, actually, I guess it took longer than that. It probably took me about three months. I had to first uh, conceptualize the design. I had to uh, purchase parts all myself. And since I really know how to do this, um, I had to figure out exactly how to build a robot. Um, built some other robots before, but those were kits. This is my first real robot that I just built. Um, and then once I had all the parts and I had it assembled, I had to figure out how to program it because I'm not a programmer and I really don't know how to program very well. But all this electronics, you can't just tell them to walk. You have to program everything it does. You have to tell it to lift every leg and what position every leg is going to be at. So it took me a lot of time and a lot of trial and error to really figure out how to get that to go. Now as you can see here, he's bumping into my hand. He backs up because uh, once I got him to walk, I was satisfied enough with that, so I had those on tank. Um, he basically turns around and he goes away from my hand. That's, uh, that's my robot right here. And, uh, I'm real excited to, real excited to have him. I'm really excited to be able to show this. Um, so yeah. Thank you for having a look at my portfolio. And thank you for your time. Here you can see a more detailed view of some of his parts. This is a leg here, it'll move up like this, over like this, and it'll also flex the knee like that. Um, those are just two beautiful on switches. Here's the real beauty though, the brain of the robot's right here. This is where his program is stored and it runs through all these circuits and all these wires out to the legs. Um, some more electronics there, that's his battery, he's got quite a few batteries. Um, he, uh, he runs off of, if I can get this off while looking through the camera, he runs off of six of these batteries, the other two are in there, that case requires a screw to get off, and he also has a 9 volt battery. Um, battery power is an important thing for a robot because they don't have nourishment, they don't have food, so they have to get their power by batteries. Um, there he is, now he's going to try to walk upside down, but that's going to work too well.